Hey guys, welcome back to Food and Travel with Festive Forever. Today's vlog is going to be really, really interesting. It is one of the most awaited vlog of all time. Going by the thumbnail, you guys must have guessed that today we are going to visit this newly opened restaurant called Opa Kipos. I literally had to book this place four weeks prior due to their high demand. Considering the present scenario, you'll have to plan it well in advance because of the long waiting list. But yes, I finally got it. So first, let's get ready. Enter this restaurant. I'm just going to give you a brief idea about it. So this restaurant is a branch of Opa Kipos Dubai. The restaurant has made an attempt to give you an experience of Santorini, Greece. Near some of the Santorini beaches, you will get to see that the houses are coloured in white and blue, symbolising unity. So all we need to do is go inside and enjoy our Greek escapades. So let's go. fabulous it's super pretty it's like a different kind of experience over here so i have called for nth number of dishes for you to enjoy so the first thing that we have over here is called flaming cheese So this is a piece of cheese over here and to create this flaming effect on this cheese they have actually used alcohol so that the flame is escalated. 
So let's go ahead and try this beautiful dish. I'm just gonna break it into a small piece. Mm. It has a very strong flavor of alcohol and it's kind of sweet. Also, they have added walnuts, fig to make it, you know, to add sweetness to this dish. I like the taste, but the alcohol is literally very strong. After enjoying some delicious and tangy flaming cheese, the next thing that we have over here is pita bread with some hummus and lamb. One of the popular dishes of this restaurant is this pita bread along with some hummus and some lamb. So this dish was recommended to me by the restaurant so I decided to order it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy my pita bread with some hummus. Their hummus looks absolutely stunning. Their bread is slightly like a pizza bread more than pita bread. Also, their hummus is little sour and the pine nuts are giving nice taste to it. So the hummus is tasting really amazing. It's quite fresh. I like the texture of this hummus and some spring onions and micro greens are giving just fabulous taste. Also, they have added some red chilies, but it's literally a non-spicy dish. Now let's eat some lamb over here. So first we are going to add some hummus on the top and then some lamb. So my delicious bite is ready. The lamb is very much crispy. So it doesn't actually taste like lamb. It's more like a crispy texture something. I really liked it. Actually I liked it both ways with lamb, without lamb. The hummus is just fat. So between the meals, somewhere around 2.30 in the afternoon, the staff performs the traditional Zoba dance and during and after the dance, there is ceramic plate smashing. You can also join them just for some fun. Now let's continue with the food. 
After eating some crazy hummus, the next thing that we have over here is called Penerili Three Cheese. The dish is kind of a pizza. It's like a pizza slice. So the pizza has been divided into couple of sections. Like these are the slices that you'll get over here, and also you can see that there is this egg. Which is spread out everywhere. Also, the egg is half done. I like the small slices over here, which looks absolutely delicious. And I think they have added cheese inside to enhance the taste. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Hmm. It's very cheesy. This is tasting exactly like pizza, just in a different shape. You know there are category of people who like to eat pizza crust. So for them, this is a blessing. One more thing that I would like to add is that surprisingly, there is no smell of egg. Though egg was half done, it's still tasting very nice. I couldn't really, you know, smell it. Sometimes when the egg is uncooked, you can actually smell that thing, but it's not the case over here. Hmm. The next dish that we have over here is this Greek salad. Ideally, we are supposed to eat salad prior to our other dishes, but other dishes were so tempting. I couldn't resist myself, and I kept the salad for you know to eat later. So let's go ahead and taste our delicious salad. There is a strong flavor of parsley and also it's a little sour. In fact, the cheese, feta cheese, is tasting just awesome. It's not spicy. Mostly, it's just mixing of all the vegetables together with some feta cheese. Feta cheese is giving a sour taste. I guess this dish is just okay. Moving on for main course, I have called for grilled baby chicken, which looks quite cute. Okay, there is some white. I think this could be cod or mayonnaise, and then some greens on the top, and then some chicken, which is nicely marinated with some spices. So I think this dish is going to be just awesome. So let's go ahead and dip this. I can actually see a lot of oil over here. They have also used olive oil. powder so i'm going to dip my chicken into this and just take my small bite mm. Mm. the chicken is cooked properly there are no much flavors you can actually taste the flavor of the chicken and also the chicken is very moist fresh and soft that is something that i really like they have also added olive powder but then the taste of olive powder is not that strong you can just enjoy this dish with your greens over here next in line that we have is called veg moussaka and we have the sauce over here which i'm going to pour all over it to make it more dramatic okay The dish contains mashed vegetables and the base was flaky also due to feta cheese again the dish was sour I am literally full and I don't have any place left to eat but the next dish that we have here is artichoke and spinach ozo it's piping hot not actually rice it's some kind of pasta mm. very spinachy again sar i think the sarness is coming from feta cheese mm. the dish is nice for a change it's quite different from other flavors or other dishes that i tried so yeah it's good 
so for dessert and my sweet ending i have called for bugatsa which looks quite fabulous <laughs> Here we have some delicious ice cream, which is right now melting. And then there is a chocolate inside. It's all melted, basically melted chocolate. And look at this: the amount of chocolate that they have added, it's too much. Now let's go ahead and break this delicious thing. My chocolate is all melting. Actually, it's kind of messed up over here. Dessert is good, but there is a lot of coffee flavor in it, and I'm not a coffee person. so this dessert would not work for me the quality of ice cream is very good again it's very flaky but um, but the but the amount of coffee is literally too much for me also the chocolate taste is good mm the chocolate is extremely hot and the ice cream is extremely cold the combination of cold and hot is just fabulous but only one thing which i don't really like it is coffee taste if you are a coffee lover then you're going to love this dish for sure Now we have come to the end of this vlog, and now we are going to rate this place on our festive meter. The place is beyond your imagination. It's so beautiful. It's so freaking beautiful, guys. It's just awesome. The experience is like a one-time experience. Every single tradition they have followed, and in fact, the word Opa stands for celebration, and Kipo stands for garden. So basically, it's kind of a celebration that you do over here. Basically, in Greece, whenever there is a celebration they break ceramic plates <laughs> guys this place is quite expensive and it's a luxury restaurant so i'm not going to rate this place on the basis of price my ratings are solely going to be based on my experience and the food so my experience was just tremendously good and amazing so i'm going to rate this place 8.5 out of 10 on my festive meter the food is good and the ambiance is just fabulous and if you ever get an opportunity do come here if you ever come here then don't forget to tag me on my instagram that is festive forever 4 also if you have any query or any suggestion then you can leave it in the comment section below i will definitely get back to you also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel also if you are interested in cooking then you can subscribe to my other channel that is festive forever so guys that's all for today i'm going to see you in my next vlog till then live life festive style bye bye लोग मेरे सर पे बैठे ना प्लेस टू ईट विच आर गिविंग अ नाइस टेस्ट टू दिस डिश ऑल्सो ऑल्सो द हॉमस My ratings are solely going to be based on my experience like